Hello my lovely Aquarians, welcome to your reading for June 2020. I hope this finds you well, safe, healthy with, in these times that we find ourselves in. I'd like to thank you for subscribing, for liking, for sharing, for commenting on my channel. Your support is means a lot to me, it's, it's wonderful, thank you very much and I would uh, if you haven't already subscribed, you can click the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you will know when I'm going to be posting new videos for you. So let me just create your um, spread. This is a general reading for you, my lovely Aquarians. It's a reading for Aquarius sun, rising and moon sign. Also listen to your rising sign and moon sign. Some months they will resonate more for you than your sun sign will. If you would like to book a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and book a reading from there. So let's see what is in store for you for June. Um, I feel like there's some very big decisions for you to make there's some very big decisions for you to make in June. They, they are things that you've been thinking about for a while, um, but there's, there's a, a life, life, sort of a life-changing situation, if you like, um, that's coming up. It's going to vary in, in intensity for each of you, of course, because you're all, your natal charts are all very different. But I feel that um, there are some important decisions for you to make this month. Um, Concerning your future, concerning where you're moving, where you're going, what you want to achieve, who you are. So some of those decisions are going to be of a spiritual nature, of a, um, a nature, you know, sort of, of, of personal growth. It's defining who you are, discovering who you are. For some of you, it's going to be, they're going to be bigger decisions, changes in work, how you work, what you want to do, who you are and where you want to be, um, what isn't working for you in your life. There's all these sorts of things are going to come up at varying degrees for all of you, but it is going to be a month of uh, big decisions big choices here for you to make. So there's, I feel like you're coming from a place of, you have been processing this for quite a while. It's not something that's going to come up and, and think, oh wow, that's caught me by surprise. It's not gonna catch you by surprise. Might catch people around you by surprise because you've been mulling it over. You've been thinking about this. You've been processing this. So um, it's, it's something you've been thinking about for a while. So let's have a look at, at what your spread says for, um, for June because that's what was coming through from my guides for you. You've got the Empress first up in June and that's really good. That's, um, do you see the birth of a new child, you know, this is the birth of a baby but it can also, it represents the birth of a new idea, the birth of a new you, the birth of a new way of doing things. Um, what what plans do you want to put in place to bring um, the reality that you want to create, to bring in the abundance that you want, to create the environment that you want to live in, to create the environment that you want, to create the life that you want? What is it for you that, that the Empress represents? It's time to give birth to whatever it is you've been processing. It's time to... Um, deal with it. It's time to bring it out. It's time to, to act on it. It's time to um, put things in motion to, to create that reality for you. It's crossed with the faith card, which is always really interesting. It's about having faith in yourself, faith and self-confidence in yourself, belief in yourself. Um, go within and really explore who you are. Have that self-belief that you can achieve whatever it is you set your mind to. That's absolutely there for you. Um, so it's about really trusting your inner guidance, trusting yourself to create the future that you're wanting to create, to move forward into the future that you're wanting to move into, to bring in the changes that you're wanting to bring in around you. Because it's it's... You've been thinking about it because it's, it's a, you have been working towards something. So whether you've been studying, whether you've been learning something new, uh, new skills, 
new knowledge, uh, a formal educational course, whatever it is for you, it's now time to do something with it. It's now time to to go on your own journey. It's, it, you know, you're your own light. You're your own confidence in moving forward, coming out into the world, um, making the changes to your environment, to your living situation, um, whatever it is for you, it's time now to bring in those changes. You are... Uh, and you're going to start, in June, you're going to feel those stirrings. You're going to feel that need to, to make those changes, to bring in those changes, to bring in those changes because you've got the priestess and this is telling you to um, listen to yourself, listen to your self-talk, listen to your intuition, listen to your dream life. You know, your dreams are going to be quite vivid. What are they telling you? How are your guides speaking to you? What synchronicities are around you? It's about getting in touch with your spiritual self, getting in touch with your intuition, getting in touch with your inner knowing. Um, you know, if you're going to make a decision that's wrong, your body's going to tell you, your body's going to react to it. You're not going to feel comfortable. If it's a decision that you feel like it's going to be good for you, you are going to feel it. You're going to feel enthusiastic. You're going to, it's going to feel right. It's about getting in touch with your feelings in, uh, in June in order to um, bring about the changes that are needing to happen that you're, you've been planning for, you've been thinking about, you've been processing. It's like you've been keeping the cards close to your chest. Well, it's now t time to play your hand and, and put in those, those changes, bring in those changes. It can be at work, in a work environment. It can be in a home environment. I somehow feel like the two are linked um, it, with you. Um, it can be um, a project that you want to instigate, um, some charity work that you want to do, something that you want to be uh, the instigator of. Um, it's going to be different for all of you. Moving out on your own. Also, you know, it's, it, it's the month to do it. It's the month to do it. Because you're also living in the Palace of Cups, and it's interesting because Aquarius, Aquarius isn't isn't a water sign. It's it's a think. You know, Aquarians are thinkers, but you've got water in your in your sign. You know, the water bearer. It's and that's your intuition. That's going to be really strong this month. Palace of Cups is where you're going to go beneath the surface in your thinking, where you were just sort of skimming the surface with your ideas it's going to be a month of going beneath the surface it's going going deep going deep with your ideas actually thinking about making them into reality it's not a time to just be skimming along the surface it's a time to really delve deep deep within yourself your your inner resources what you want to create what are your desires um, rather than just being superficial and, oh yeah it, everything's okay really exploring the self really exploring what it is you want to do really exploring how you want to move forward and what you want to bring into your reality because there is certainly forward movement here for you in June certainly is and as we go as we proceed through June you go from these water sort of elements and intuition to the fire to the queen of wands and this is you coming into your own this is you you know when you process this you're going to the week week end of week two week three and timing will be different for all of you but you're going to be feeling really confident about the choices and decisions you've made about the decisions of what direction you want to go in what direction you want your life to go in how you want the things to fall into place what you want to do you're also going to be really protective about you you're not going to be swayed by other people you're going to really honor the self and do what it is you want to do. This, this, um, you know, fire in the belly is going to come up. This really strong person is going to come up. This can be male or female. Uh, having this real inner strength in making things happen. You're taking charge. So you're going to feel really strong in that forward movement. For some of you, this is someone that is going to, that is around you. The uh, Queen of Wands can be male or female. That's Aries, Sagittarius, Leo person that's around you. Um, they can tend to take over. So watch that sort of controlling aspect of, of the fire signs. 
they can be really supportive but it's almost like I'll be supportive but there's conditions um, and that's something that could be holding you back so this person sun rising or moon sign that is in your in your life in your environment just be mindful that they don't take over that they don't take over your ideas you need to be protective of that and you need to hold a tight rein on what your ideas are and how you want to move forward with them so that's going to be really interesting because um, this person can be, you know, one in really supportive but can also take over and be a little bit controlling. So you need to watch that. You need to watch that because that's what you are needing to explore yourself, where you're heading and what you're doing. And as we move along, you've got the devil card. Again, fire, fire. And this is... <sighs> Don't be tempted to take shortcuts. Don't be tempted to take the easy road. Don't allow other people to pull your strings. And that's what I'm saying here with this, with this um, Queen of Wands. Don't be manipulated into making decisions that you uh, don't really want to make. Don't be emotionally manipulated uh, and controlled. You've got to really make your own choices and decisions. But also with you, don't make don't be tempted to take shortcuts. Don't be tempted to make um, the easy choices rather than the, the difficult choices where it's going to require more effort but it will reap more rewards. This is a month of really defining yourself. This is a real turning point for you here. This is a point of something you've been thinking about for a long time coming to fruition, putting those plan laying down those plans, making them happen. If you're going to be manipulated into doing something that somebody else wants to do, then you're just going to fall back into your old patterns. And we don't want that. We want you to really come into your own. Come into your own. Because you've also got the five of wands. Now, you are supported in this. You, you know, whatever it is you're wanting to, to do, and for some of you, it can be some, you know, renovating. It can be um, redefining a relationship. It can be moving out and living on your own. It can be taking a new sort of form of study, starting a new business. There's so many different things that can be going on in your life. Um, but you are supported. So don't forget to ask for help. Any issues, any problems, any little, little hurdles that you've got to um, jump over, ask for assistance, ask for help, ask for that springboard because it's there, both is it from your guides from source, from the universe, from God, whatever it is you you choose to, whatever name you choose to give to it, but also um, in the physical, friends and family and, and, you know, people that are around you, there is the support there for you. I want to say that there's some of you that are going to go for some sort of promotion. There's support in that promotion. So um, don't forget to ask for it. Don't forget to to put it out there. You've also got the seven of wands and, you know, there's growth in those obstacles that are coming your way. You will be victorious. You will overcome them and you will learn a lot. You're going to learn a lot about yourself, your resilience, your determination and your ability this month. And that's positive. So any obstacles that you've got coming up around you, any obstacles that, you know, you think, oh, there's a hurdle. Oh, gosh, this is too hard. You're growing, you're learning, and you're becoming stronger. And that, I feel, is really important for July and August for you. You're going to need that inner strength, not being swayed, not being pulled in different directions, but really remaining very focused on what it is you want and where you're headed that's going to be really important. Energetically, that's the energy that's coming through for you. It's, a, it's a, uh, an energy of determination, an energy of um, supporting the self, of realizing your own self-worth and your own value and um, learning about your identity. That's what's coming through for you in June. It's going to be quite a revealing month for you. I'm going to give you a card from the Osho Zen cards to see what uh, word of inspiration there is here for you. Let's see what they have to say. I like it. You know, you've got water and you've got fire, which is really interesting. So go with it, you know, go with it. If you feel, you know, intuitive and spiritual and, and self-exploration in the beginning of June, because then in, oh, there we go, you've got two, so I'll give you two. 
Um, you've actually got three that fell out, so let's have a look at them. <laughs> it's about patience. You've got patience first up, but see, this is a pregnant woman giving birth, giving birth to a new idea. It's about being patient. It's about being balanced, being in harmony, the cycles of the moon, everything that, you know, this is, this is your time in the cycle. It's your time now to give birth to your ideas, to what you want, um, the changes you want to bring into your life. This month is the month to do it. And be patient with it. Don't force it. Don't push it. The beginning of the month is about meditation. It's about self-discovery. It's about listening to your intuition because the time will come to give birth to this. And that's the second half of June where things can actually start um, being moved forward and there's comparison here and comparison speaks of the um, you know embracing the differences embracing the differences and, and it's interesting because comparisons you've got water water in the beginning of your um, reading and then fire how and that is an abs extremely extreme op opposites isn't it um, so that it's going to also be a month of comparison for you of comparing the life you had to the life that you want. How are you going to move forward? What are you going to do? And it's you know also about past lives. And this is about past lives, but it's also I feel like about the yourself, your your first part of your life, and how is this next chapter going to take form? How are you what have you learnt from the first chapter of your life to moving into this next chapter of your life? What have you learnt in life that you're is is going to move you forward? It's going to project you into this next chapter. So everything that happens to us in the past is if makes us who we are today. And, and we're constantly we're constantly changing as we move into the future. Okay, so now let's have a look at the Angels of Abundance. What card is there for you? It's a really new uh, chapter for you, a new opening, a new start. I like it. Angels of Abundance, what's there for you? Let's have a look. Okay. Ah windfall of abundance windfall of abundance fabulous let's see an increase in abundance is arriving in many different forms some of them unexpected be open to receiving and know that this abundance comes to you to support your life purpose health and charitable work and that is asking for assistance connecting with your guides that's going to happen in the first part of the month so utilize that windfall of abundance. So I wish you many, many blessings. I wish you happy journeying through June. If you would like to book a private reading with me, then follow the link below to my website and you can book a reading from there. Many blessings to you, my lovely Aquarians. <laughs>